So this dish is inspired by my favorite Thai takeout dinner, which is a green curry chicken and rice one pot meal. I decided to try cooking everything in one pot and it's efficient, delicious, and super satisfying. So first we're gonna start by searing off the chicken. A great tip for you guys, if you're on a budget, always try to look for bone-in chicken, whole legs, and you can ask the butcher to cut them into smaller pieces for you like I did. And these usually run about three to four dollars per pound, which is a lot cheaper than buying chicken breasts or chicken thighs. So to my pot, I have a pretty wide skillet here. I'm gonna heat it up on medium high and then drizzle some olive oil. I'll add my chicken, season it with some salt and pepper, and then just sear each side for about three to five minutes until it's nice and golden brown. I'll just go ahead and remove the chicken, transfer it to another plate, and then just wipe off any excess oil. So now we're gonna cook off our vegetables. To the pot that's already hot, we'll add the onions first, saute it for a couple minutes until it's nice and fragrant. Then I'll add my frozen bell peppers, zucchini, and garlic. I'll just cook them all up until they're nice and tender, about three to four minutes. So while it's still cooking, I'm gonna season it with some green curry paste. I never buy simmer sauces because I feel like they're really expensive for one-time use. Buying a paste like this, then adding coconut milk and water to season everything up, you just get way more uses out of it from one little jar. It's just really concentrated seasoning. I'll add about a tablespoon of this right into the pot, mix it up, and then I'll add some coconut milk, water, and our rice. All the specific measurements will be listed in the description box below. Here I'm using jasmine rice, which is a very fragrant, long grain rice. But before adding it in, I always make sure to rinse it under water at least three times until it runs clear to get rid of any extra starch. That way, when you cook it as a one pot, it doesn't get mushy. Now just give everything a good mix so that the rice is nice and layered. And then right on top of everything, we're gonna nestle in our chicken so they all cook together. I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and then turn the heat down to a low simmer. Now we'll cover it and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Our Thai chicken and rice green curry smells incredible. The rice looks nice and fluffy, the chicken has cooked through, and cooking it this way, it helped absorb that curry flavor from the bottom up. What I like to do is garnish it with some jalapeno slices, usually on the chicken for people that like spicy food, and then some cilantro, and finally, a squeeze of lime to brighten everything up. Coconut curry rice is so flavorful. Coconut rice is already good, but adding that layer of green curry into it is just oh, delicious. Let's try our chicken. The combination of searing the chicken and then steaming it just makes for a perfectly tender meat. I hope you guys definitely give this recipe a try because it is delicious. 